A wild challenger appears as Amazon is getting into the games engine business with a free to download 3D engine by the name of Lumberyard. Now Lumberyard can be used to develop for both PC and consoles and will be rolling out alongside a multiplayer service called Gamelift. Now Amazon has said that Lumberyard is entirely free and will have no requirements to share revenue. And basically, Amazon will make money from Amazon Web Services that developers use to build or support their games. Now, Gamelift does have a $1.50 per 1,000 daily active user fee, in addition to standard fees for any other Amazon Web Service used. Now, Lumberyard is currently in beta, so do keep that in mind. There is a link in the description below of Amazon's news release if you want all of the nitty-gritty information. Now, Gamelift servers are currently in two US regions, that being Oregon and Northern Virginia, with more regions coming soon. And Amazon is basically saying that Gamelift is a convenient means of including and deploying multiplayer features, noting that costs to support such components are often out of range for smaller developers. Now, they said in a statement, quote, With Amazon Gamelift and Amazon Lumberyard, developers can create multiplayer backends with less effort, technical risk, and time delays that often cause developers developers rather, to cut multiplayer features from their games. Interestingly as well, Lumberyard will also be integrated with Twitch so that developers can take advantage of streaming features and of course the wide audiences that they attract through that network. Now of course we have seen a few games recently that have actually integrated streaming in an interesting way. Of course we've got games such as say Fibbage and Quiplash but we also have the more recent Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, as well as, of course, Party Hard. Now, there is an interesting tool in Lumberyard by the name of Twitch Chat Play, which will allow devs to add a feature that will allow viewers to use Twitch Chat to control the game, basically utilising the Twitch Plays idea that, of course, hit in early 2014. And as well as this, we also have a Twitch join-in feature that will allow broadcasters to invite audience members into their games, either cooperatively or competitively. Now, if you're still hungry for more information that isn't a news release, there is also a link to a Gamer Sutra interview with Lumber Lumberyard's rather general manager Eric Schenk, who basically spoke on the origins of ventures of this venture rather and Amazon's vision for it. So, two links: a interview with Gamer Sutra and Eric Schenk, and of course Amazon's news release regarding Lumberyard and of course GameLift. Now, what makes this engine all the more interesting for developers who want an engine with quite a bit of power under the hood is that it is having visuals based on the Cry engine, which of course is very powerful indeed. So, it could be really interesting, and all the Twitch integration could lead to some interesting possibilities. As I said, we've already had a few games already trying to integrate Twitch and streaming in interesting ways, with the games already mentioned, and perhaps this could be further utilised in, 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 with these native tools to make it easier for developers who might have these ideas to actually execute that. Now, I would love to know the actual practical applications for GameLift. It, it might actually mean that a small indie game that could not afford online multiplayer that should really have it, just say for example, Love is in a Dangerous Space Time, if they had perhaps used Gamelift, would it possibly mean that they could actually afford to have that multiplayer in there, whereas of course it's local only as far as I'm aware, unless they have updated it since I last checked. That's an interesting possibility, but I don't know if it works exactly that way, but that's how it definitely sounds. Be interested to see what developers actually do, if anything, with this new engine. And of course, it's completely free. You know, for example, Unity 5 or Unreal Engine 4 are free, but they do have royalties or licensing fees if the project launches. Lumberyard, not the case, it is completely free with no revenue share or anything like that. Of course, there is a charge for game lift, but Lumberyard is free. Regardless of all that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.